Hello and welcome at Abhimanyu IS, the leader in the UPSC and state civil services exam preparations, which has produced more than 2200 selections in a time span of just 23 years since its beginning in 1999. Now at Abhimanyu IS, we have launched an extremely valuable series on issues and analysis. In this particular series, we discuss and analyze those topics related with current issues which are considered very much important for the UPSC and State Civil Services main examinations. No doubt the questions from these topics can be asked in the preliminary examination also. मेरा नाम डॉक्टर एच एस सिद्धू है मैं अभिमन्यू आई एस में इंटरनेशनल रिलेशंस एंड इंडियन इकोनॉमी टीच करता हूँ आई हैव बीन मैंटोरिंग सिविल सर्विसेज एस्पिरेंट्स फॉर मोर देन फिफ्टीन ईयर्स एंड आई हैव ऑथर्ड सम बुक्स आल्सो फॉर द यू पी एस सी एंड स्टेट सिविल सर्विसेज एग्जामिनेशन सो इन टू डेज लेक्चर which is related with the international relations i am going to discuss a topic which is india uae israel food corridor you know arabian peninsula uh, depends entirely on the imported food items and uh, similarly israel is also an importer of uh, food grains and uh, other food articles India has been blessed by God with a very good climate which is suitable for agriculture and a fertile soil, perennial rivers and a good monsoon. All these factors make India a leader in the agricultural production. In terms of uh, calories, India is the second largest producer in the world and uh, in terms of the processed food items india is the fourth largest producer in the world so there is a, a very huge potential in india as far as the agricultural production is concerned and the value addition in the agricultural produce so this is the reason which is underlying this new initiative that is the india uae israel food corridor so before moving further on today's lecture let me share an important information with you at abimanyu ias we are commencing fresh batches for the upsc and state civil services prelims and mains examination targeting 2023 and 24 this will be a one year course uh, which will be available uh, through offline and online mode and uh, at present we are giving at abimanyu is a 7 days free trial class also mm -hmm. if you want to join you may click on the link given in the description now let us uh, move further to discuss the today's topic first of all we will have a look at this map this is the map which shows the route of this uh, food corridor that is the india uae israel food corridor it will start from mumbai and uh, via the maritime route it will reach uae and from uae uh, via saudi arabia and jordan it will reach israel up to the haifa port that is on the mediterranean sea in israel so this is there as far as this uh, rail corridor is concerned almost uh, the entire rail corridor except uh, a uh, you can say part of uh, 300 km approximately which lies in jordan okay that is complete so this is all about this and uh, from haifa it can be connected to greece via the mediterranean sea and from where the supplies can be further given to the europe as well so this will be a new supply network for food 
relying on new innovations and investments so this india uae israel food corridor will be a new network for food which will rely on the new innovations and investments and uh, let me tell you that uh, this india uae israel food corridor is also known as the india middle east food corridor and it is having another name also that is mumbai haifa food corridor okay. so this is the uh, entire uh, about this you can say uh, food corridor entire about the map related with this food corridor so reasons behind this hum sabhi jante hain ke covid 19 ke dauran and uh, ab ukraine russia conflict ke chalte hue वर्ल्ड में सप्लाई चेन्स की डिसरप्शन हुई है जिसकी वजह से यू कैन से एट मैनी प्लेस इन द वर्ल्ड द सप्लाईज हैव बीन अफेक्टेड ओके एंड मोर ओवर द यूक्रेन रशिया कॉन्फ्लिक्ट हैज़ लेड टू ए सिग्निफिकेंट शॉर्टेज ऑफ स्टेपल फूड सप्लाईज आल्सो ओके वी नो दैट रशिया एंड यूक्रेन और the major suppliers or the exporters of the wheat to the various countries of the world and that is why in the wake of this ukraine russia conflict the supplies of the staple food uh, articles have also been affected and due to which the shortage of these staple food articles is uh, felt so the origin of the idea idea means uh, the origin of the uh, this india uae israel food corridor the idea of the food corridor emerged prominently in the i2 u2 summit held in july 2022 abhi july 2022 mein america ke president joe biden ne yahan middle east mein visit kiya tha and uh, during that time uh, i2 u2 की फर्स्ट मिट हुई थी इन द मंथ ऑफ जुलाई 2022 ट्वेंटी टू दैट वॉज ए वर्चुअल सुमिट एंड इन दैट वर्चुअल सुमिट दिस आइडिया इमर्ज देयर ओके वट डू वी मीन बाय द आई टू यू टू आई टू मीन्स दिस इज इंडिया एंड इजराइल यू टू मीन्स यू ए एंड द यू एस सो दिस वॉज ए समिट बिटवीन द फोर कंट्रीज Uh, or summit of the leaders of the four countries that is the india israel uae and the us the i2 u2 initiative is to harness the association built on six pillars okay so there are there will be six modules in the i2 u, i2 u2 association okay uh, around which the partnership of these four countries will be built upon those four pillars uh, those six pillars include the water energy transportation food health and uh, space sectors so these are the various areas and uh, the next is a uh, symbiotic association it is said that as far as this food corridor is concerned it is based on the symbiotic association between india uae and uh, israel so let us have a look at this so what is the association between the uae and and india if we see we know uh, we uh, we know that uh, india is a major uh, agricultural producer in the world okay and there is a very huge potential in india as far as the value addition to the agricultural produce is concerned and uh, there is a very huge scope for the increase in the pod- agricultural productivity in india by making new innovations and uh, bringing new uh, new technology and methods related with the agriculture and but but for that uh, india needs a huge investment and uh, the uae is there to provide investment to india okay uae is there to provide investment to india and uh, in lieu of that uh, india will ensure the food security of the uae so this is the symbiosis between the india and the uae and similarly uh, israel uh, we know is a 
leader in technology so israel is there that can provide better technology for the climate smart agriculture and uh, better technology as far as the clean energy is concerned to to india and uh, that may help india in the value addition to the agricultural produce as well as in increasing the agricultural produce as well okay and uh, in lieu of that india will provide food security to israel okay and uh, as far as the association between israel and uae is concerned okay so for both the countries countering ir iranian influence in the region is very much important because uh, uh, these countries uh, feel that uh, uh, iran is a uh, power that is responsible for spreading terrorism in the region right so this is the point here and uh, as far as israel is concerned israel has already established nearly 29 agricultural centers across india to facilitate technology and uh, best practices so israel already bharat mein kaam kar raha hai right and uh, approximately 29 agricultural centers have been uh, established across india by israel okay which are facilitating in the field of technology and for agricultural best practices in our country and then under the i2 i2u2 initiative the uae has promised to invest 2 billion dollar in the construction of uh, food parks in india this is very much important for india as we have already discussed that uh, uh, in terms of the calories india is the second largest producer in the world and in terms of the processed food india is the fourth largest producer in the world so that is why there is a very huge potential lying in india as far as value addition to the agricultural produce is concerned and for that uh, uh, food parks needs needs to be opened uh, you can say in different regions of the country and uh, that requires investment and uh, uae has uh, promised to invest 2 billion us dollar in the construction of the food parks in india and even in 2019 also uh, various companies from the uae have committed an investment of uh, 7 billion dollars for the development of the uh, this uh, food parks uh, and uh, warehouses and uh, other you can say infrastructure related to the uh, uh, entire uh, this uh, food supply chain you can say so this is there and india wants to become the food basket of the middle east and triple its food trade with the uae by 2025 as far as india is concerned india wants to become the food basket of the middle east and uh, for that purpose india has a target of tripling its uh, food trade with the uae by the year 2025 so this is we can say the symbiotic association between the the three countries usa is providing investment to india which india will use for the purpose of the agricultural promotion and uh, adding more value to the uh, agricultural produce in india and india will provide the food security and similarly israel will will provide technology to india uh, which will be in the uh, related with the climate smart agriculture and uh, other you can say uh, renewable energy related technology which is a clean energy green energy like that and uh, that will help india in adding value to the agricultural produce and increase in the agricultural production as well and india in lieu will provide the food security as far as the uae and the israel is concerned countering iranian influence in the region is important for both the uae as well as the israel because these countries considered iran as responsible for spreading terrorism in the region so 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 this is the entire thing okay. so some positive points you know in 
February 2022, India has signed an comprehensive economic partnership agreement with the UAE that ends tariffs on 90% of mutually traded products. February 2022 में इंडिया एंड यू ए के बीच एक कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव इकोनॉमिक पार्टनरशिप एग्रीमेंट साइन हुआ था एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट एग्रीमेंट द प्रोडक्ट्स विच विल बी म्यूचुअली ट्रेडेड बिटवीन द टू कंट्रीज दैट इज द इंडिया एंड द यू ए अबाउट नाइन्टी परसेंट ऑफ दोज प्रोडक्ट्स विल बी टैरिफ फ्री ओके सो एंड सिमिलरली देन इन मे ट्वेंटी Israel and US entered into a free trade agreement that will see the removal of tariffs on 98% of the goods. Okay, so just two three months after UAE entered into the comprehensive economic partnership with India, UAE entered into free trade agreement also with with the Israel and according to which the टैरिफ ओवर द नाइन्टी परसेंट ऑफ म्यूचुअली ट्रेडेड आर्टिकल्स शेल बी रिमूव देयर द यू ए मे सर्व एज ए हब फॉर इंडिया सप्लाईज ऑफ द फूड स्टाफ टू द मिडल ईस्ट एंड यूरोप हाउ वी हैव सीन दैट देर इज ए यू कैन से सी रूट विच कोनेक्ट्स मुंबई विद द यू ए एंड देर इज ए रेल कॉरिडोर विच गोज फ्रॉम UAE to the Haifa post of uh, port of Israel so this is there so this way uh, UAE can emerge as a hub for supplies of india's food stuff to the middle east because from here the supplies can be given to the middle east and 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 from the haifa post uh, port of the israel the supplies can be further extended to europe as well so this is the point here even india's adani group this is very important to note that uh, adani group of india has acquired israel's hefa post uh, which indicates that the corridor possesses economic potency okay very recently uh, the adani group of india has acquired hefa port in israel so this is an indication that this uh, uh, you can say india uae israel a uh, food corridor is going to work and there is a uh, a uh, you can say potential of of its uh, further growth so this is the point here so now what are the benefits india going to reap from this initiative okay. so india will be having both economic as well as the political and strategic advantages as far as the economic advantage is concerned that is the job growth so number 1 if investment comes into india though for the development of the food parks in india so that will lead to a job creation and even according to an estimate that uh, investment by the uae in india is going to help uh, approximately 2 million farmers and it is going to create approximately 2 lakh new jobs in our country so this is what india requires at this time addition to india's gdp so obviously if the agricultural produce increases or if we add more value to the agricultural produce so that that will lead to the increase in the gross domestic product of india which is an indicator of the economic growth and uh, increase in the export potential of india in fact the export of india will increase and the potential of export will also increase help maximize crop yield because the new technologies and uh, capital will come and uh, there will be more demand for the different types of the agricultural produce and that will help in the diversifying crops as well help farmers gain better value of crops okay so when if uh, there will be the food processing facilities in india then definitely the farmers will be able to get better value uh, uh, for their produce okay so and uh, apart from the economic benefit india is going to reap some political and strategic advantages also what are those number 
it will be important for India to help countering China's commercial presence in the Middle East. We know that uh, uh, China is a major exporting country. Almost the entire world is importing the goods or services from China and uh, Middle East is also not an, not an exception in this respect. So in the wake of uh, China's growing commercial presence in the Middle East, uh, this project which is the India-UAE-Israel Food Corridor will help in countering China's commercial presence in the Middle East and moreover an effective counterweight to China's OBOR. So, ye jo project hai, which is known as the Mumbai Haifa Food Corridor or India Middle East Food Corridor or India UAE Israel Food Corridor. So, this will counter China's uh, One Belt One Road initiative as well, which is a very much important cause of concern for India, for US and for various other countries that that are associated with the US or India we can say. Uh, it will definitely add to India's soft power. Okay, So, because uh, uh, if we will be able to ensure the food security of the Middle East, uh, right of the various countries of the Arabian Peninsula of the Middle East and further uh, if we would be able to supply the food, the food grains and other articles of trade to uh, Europe as well. So, that will uh, uh, lead to smoothening of the relationship of India with those various countries that will be connected by this uh, uh, corridor as well. So, that will add to India's soft power also. So, next important point is that seeing China's military base in Djibouti, the security of the maritime route through the Suez Canal is threatened and India-UAE-Israel route will provide an alternative safer route to Europe from Asia and uh, vice versa. Right? We know that, uh, uh, that uh, in Djibouti, uh, which is very near to the uh, Strait of uh, Babel Mandeb, a choking point uh, between the uh, Red Sea and the Indian Ocean, we can say. Okay, So, China is sitting very near to that and that is why there is a concern of the security of uh, maritime routes uh, through the Suez Canal. Okay, So, in the wake of that, uh, if this India, UAE, Israel uh, food corridor is opened and it is further developed into a trade corridor. So, that will provide an alternative safer route to Europe from Asia and from Asia to Europe as well. Okay, And it will lead to uh, saving in the economic cost of the transportation as well from India to the Middle East and to further the uh, that is Europe. Okay, uh, So, this is there. So, in this way India and the other countries like the US and Israel are going to gain either in terms of the food security or in terms of the various strategical advantages and the political advantages as well. So, this was all about the today's topic. Thank you very much. I wish you all the best. We will see you again with a new topic on some next day. All the best.